I just want to say in front of all of our friends and family here that I love you and that every day I hope will be as happy as today. I think there's something miraculous about it. Out of everywhere, everyone, me and you found each other and said I choose you today, every day and always. Sarah, I wouldn't be me without you. I love you. To Sarah, Mrs. Broadhead. <laughs> So Joshua and Sarah, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your family, your witnesses and friends gathered here today. All of us here wish you every joy and happiness in your new life together as it is my privilege and my pleasure to say that you are now lawfully married, you are husband and wife and Joshua you may give your beautiful wife a kiss. Then my name's Sean, and I'm the very proud father of the bride, Sarah. Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone for coming to this beautiful Saddle Rooms to celebrate Sarah and Josh's happy day. I'd also like to say a special thank you to everyone who has personally given their time and effort with all the planning and preparation to make this day possible for these two beautiful people. A special word as well goes out to the matron and the maid of honour, the bridesmaids and the bridesman, of which they all look beautiful. A special word as well to all the groomsmen and the best man. Also, we've got to give a little mention to the cutest little page boys and the cutest little flower girls that I think I've ever seen anyway. Uh, I think we can just all appreciate how beautiful my wife looks today. I'm, uh, I'm definitely a very lucky man. So uh, for this part of the speech, I want to take you back to 2015. I was a 19 year old lad, all packed and ready to go off to Derby University. It was the 13th September uh, and I'd applied for a job promoting the, uh, the nightclub Lola Lowe's. Little did I know that Sarah had applied for the same job as well. We bumped into each other on a few nights out and uh, on one particular occasion uh, we were in Derby in Walkabout and uh, I felt a pull on the arm and I turned around and there she was. She went, quick, quick, there's this creepy guy and he won't leave me alone. Will you come over and pretend to be my boyfriend? <laughs> so, obviously, that's what I did. I pretended to be your boyfriend until the, uh, the creepy guy went away. I reckon I'm still doing a pretty good job of it, but I don't know if we've taken this a bit too far now. <laughs> but uh, now that we are finally married, I wanted to make a few promises to you. I promise to make you laugh and bring you joy every single day. I promise to love you unconditionally in good times and bad for the rest of our lives. I promise to always pick the bath mat up and put it on the radiator after I've used it. I promise to support you through every challenge that we might face. I promise to grow older you and cherish every moment that we have together. And finally, I promise that if that creepy guy does ever come back from walkabout, <laughs> I'll still be stood by your side. This time not pretending to be a boyfriend, but telling him how proud I am to be your husband.